Okay, here's one of the next videos that we wanted to do. If I can get out of my own light. Ah, you can see some of the surface rust there. We'll have to get a little scotch bright action after that. A very, very fine one. Um, it's what we gen generally have used and our machinist has said to uh, polish up just any light surface rust that comes on there. And then, clearly, before we put this guy together, you can see the oil that we've thrown on it to try to keep the rust off of it down here in the south. Um, but what I wanted to show real quick is sometimes people don't know about cross hatching and what it's supposed to look like. So this is fresh from the machinist and you can see beautiful cross hatching in there. You can see that the, when they're honing the ring or honing the cylinder, you can see some of the lines are kind of spiraling. It doesn't sit in one spot and spiral. It goes down and then up. You can see where it kind of goes down, so down on that side. And you can see it kind of cutting across and coming back up on this side of the cylinder. Man, if I could I need a pointer. Um, so you can see those fine lines down in there. So that's cross hatching. Um, and what's awesome is we just took, this is one of my friend's 12 valve motors. He um, got it off of me. It was a core that I picked up from a friend of mine, Kyle. And... Um, he needed a 12 valve to start with and so I just said hey you know what I've got one I had plans for it but um, you probably need it worse than I do so I let him have it and we picked this thing up and we don't know how many miles on it it had some it looks like some water got into one of the cylinders and that's cool because we rebuild everything that we mess with um, and what was cool is this cross hatching that we're talking about here uh, was still present on that guy over there and we don't know how many miles it had on it but there still had a good good amount of cross hatching going on inside the cylinders and on the tr on the motor that's in my black truck the project black hole with 400,000 miles on a stock engine it still had cross hatching it wasn't this apparent obviously because it had half a million miles on it but it was still impressive to pull a motor part and see that the cross hatching was still there. It's just kind of a testament to how long these motors can go if properly maintained. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Till the next video.